Good morning everybody and welcome to the Children and Family Worship for Christ Church United Reformed Church in Rayleigh and I'm the Children and Family Worker Sandy Brown. Um, it's lovely that you've joined us for our Children and Family Worship this morning and let's begin by talking to God. Dear Lord Jesus, we don't have to see you to know you are with us. You bring us all together as a community in your love. Thank you Jesus. Amen. And our Bible reading today is from Matthew 18, verses 15 to 20. Imagine, said Jesus, with his disciples gathered about him, that somebody in the church has done something to upset you. The disciples had just been asking about who was the most important in the church, and Jesus had shocked them by saying it was the children. Now he was teaching them about relationships. Jesus continued, speak to the person alone and tell them what they've done wrong. If they listen, you'll have solved the problem and got a brother or sister back. What if they don't listen, asked the disciples. Take along one or two other people who can hear what you say to one another, Jesus replied. If the person still won't listen, then tell the whole church what has happened. If they won't even listen to the church, then that person is not like a brother or sister to you. They're like a Gentile or a tax collector and you shouldn't treat them as family. Jesus told the disciples that they would be the ones making judgments in the church. You are in charge of deciding what is forbidden and what is allowed now. Whatever you forbid on earth will also be forbidden in heaven. Whatever you allow on earth will be allowed in heaven. And remember, if two of you agree when you ask for something on earth, my Father in heaven will give it to you. Looking at the group listening to him, Jesus said, Where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. Now before we talk about our Bible reading, let's sing a little song. It's called This Little Light of Mine. This little light of mine. While we're singing this, you might like to have a torch handy and maybe darken the room a bit uh, by turning the lights out. Let's sing together. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. The light that shines is the light of love, lights the darkness from above. It shines on me and it shines on you, and shows what the power of love can do. I'm gonna shine my light both far and near, I'm gonna shine my light both bright and clear. When there's a dark corner in this land, I'm gonna let my little light shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. On Monday he gave me the gift of love, Tuesday peace came from above, on Wednesday he told me to have more faith, on Thursday he gave me a little more grace, Friday he told me just to watch and pray, Saturday he told me just what to say, on Sunday he gave me the power divine to let my little light shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Did you join in the song? I hope you did. So in front of me now, you can see I've got some old weighing scales. A bit noisy, aren't they? Some old weighing scales. And if you'd like to join in this activity, you can make your own scales if you don't have any by using a coat hanger and hanging two yogurt pots, one off each side, and then hanging the um, hanger on a rail. Um, and the other thing you'll need is some different sized stones. 
So what I have here is a nice big stone. Let's see here, which we've been using around our pond actually. And um, I'm going to put that on this side and we're going to see if I can balance the scales so that they're like this, even. So with these scales, you know that even when they're just balanced in the middle, one not up or down, they're just exactly the same and they're just floating. So put that on that side and it goes down. So I've got some little pebbles I'm going to put in here and we'll see if we can make this float up. So that's one. It's not going yet, is it? It's not very easy to do this. I mean, it looks easy to do, but it's not easy to balance the scales. Moving, is it? How many tiny little stones do I need, do you think? Oh, it had just started to go then when I put the last one in. So it's not quite balanced even yet. I'd have to go and get some more stones. So um, the best way to balance them is to take everything. So it's quite hard to balance scales with different stones in, isn't it? The best way to balance them is to take everything out and start fresh and maybe put some of these on this side. Take out the big stone and see if we can balance them like this. Is it working? Oh. And that's just about balanced now. Can you see it's not up or down on either side? Just looks balanced. So it's like this when something upsets us. And sometimes we want to take revenge, we want to get our own back, don't we? But this will never achieve balance, it won't work because if we get revenge, then somebody else wants to take revenge on us, won't they? So the only way to get things put right again is forgiveness. It's the only way to put things right and make a fresh start. To try and remember that when somebody does something against you that's bad, it's really hard, but try to roll back, think, count to 10 or even 20, and try to forgive them. So um, we've got some questions to answer. Why do we think Jesus in the story tells us that the whole church should be involved if two people can't sort a problem out? Well, Sometimes one person can have a biased viewpoint, can't they? Meaning that their decisions are made putting themselves first and not others. By involving more people, we will get a more balanced viewpoint, a bit like the scales. So by taking the big pebble out and putting lots of little pebbles in, we were able to balance the scales, weren't we? Also, one person will not be responsible alone and the decision is shared. So not one person will take responsibility for the decision. Um, it's shared amongst everybody. Another reason is that more than one person will be able to come up with more ideas and better solutions. It's like when you're in a group of friends and you want to do something and you're not quite sure how to do it. And everybody comes up with different ideas and eventually you have a plan, don't you? Well, as the saying goes, a problem shared is a problem halved. So have you ever fallen out with a friend? What did you do about it? That's something to think about. What things can we do to help everyone get along with one another? I'll just move this out of the way a minute. The Bible gives us lots of ideas to help us to get along with each other. In Hebrews 10 verses 24 to 25, it says we should think about each other and help each other to show love and do good deeds. It goes on to say we should meet together and encourage each other. But obviously at the moment we can't meet together physically, but we can get together in our Zoom meetings and by joining in these videos. Um, so yes, if we can encourage each other. In our Bible reading today, Jesus tells us to speak to anyone who has done wrong. They may not realise they've upset you and you may find you gain a friend afterwards. 
Also, Jesus asks us to pray about it. So let's talk to God now. For the times I do wrong and don't think how it affects others, forgive me, Lord Jesus. For the times I don't work together with my friends, forgive me, Lord Jesus. For the times I don't listen to you, forgive me, Lord Jesus. Amen. Now let me just move this right out of the way. Let's do the grace together. Follow me for the actions. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Don't forget to join in our Sunday Club Zoom session at 11.15 and you can ask me for the link. You can phone me or text me on 07511 or get your parents to. Um, that's it for now. Bye-bye.